Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about skills that you can use in the workplace and in life and personal development videos that will help to make your life happier and more successful. So today's question is how important is it to dress well or why are people judged on their appearance? Now there's one group of people that say that the first impression is the last impression and how you look is what determines how people will treat you. The other group of people say that it should not matter how you dress or how you look because what should really matter is you as a person. Now I agree with both groups but more so with the first group because as unfortunate as it is, yes, people are judged by the way they look and the way they dress. So let me first define what I mean by dressing well here. I mean that you should dress appropriate to the occasion. Like I said before, you are judged by the way you appear. Your appearance is what is important. And if you mess that up, then that could be the lasting impression that you carry of yourself everywhere you go. If you have decided to be a rebel and to stick to your personal style, then by all means do that. But please be aware of this fact that you may lose out on certain opportunities or be judged or mistreated in certain places because of the way you appear. So now let's talk about men in the workplace. If you don't have a ton of money to splurge on a lot of trendy clothes, that's okay. Buy a few pairs of trousers and a few shirts that you can mix and match and that are in breathable fabrics. Also ensure your accessories such as belts and shoes are of a high quality and that your other accessories like watches are very simple and sedate and not at all blingy or flashy. If you are a woman, of course you're more fortunate because you have a lot more styles and colors to choose from. But still there are certain types of clothing that are appropriate for certain occasions and you should be very mindful of that. So most organizations have a dress code and grooming guidelines for their employees and so you should try your best to follow that. But ladies, here are a few things that you should definitely avoid. Very short skirts loud colors, vibrant hair color, very tight clothing, plunging necklines and blingy accessories. You may think that this is common sense but having worked in a corporate environment in the past for many years I can tell you that people try to get away with all kinds of weird clothing and are genuinely surprised when you point it out to them that this is highly inappropriate for the workplace. Even in casual situations, we need to ensure that our clothing is clean and ironed, not frayed or torn or stained, and also that our footwear and underclothes are clean, and most of all, that we smell pleasant. Now, on a few occasions, I have encountered men who've gone to a mall and they've come there looking really disheveled in dingy clothing, looking like they haven't showered or shaved and wearing flip-flops and they have really dirty feet. And in all honesty, I can't really say that they were treated very well. I've seen a look of judgment and condescension on the faces of the shop, the people in the shop who were attending to them. So now you may say that's their personal choice because it's their day off and they are going to the store in something that they feel comfortable in. And also they are buying things and paying for it and how they're dressed really shouldn't matter. But it really boils down to your regard for other people and your respect for yourself. I personally would be very offended if I went out to meet one of my friends for a cup of coffee and they turned up looking as if they just rolled out of bed and hadn't even brushed their teeth or combed their hair. I would really feel very offended and disrespected. I cannot stress enough the importance of personal hygiene such as dental hygiene removal of excess body hair, showering and deodorizing, and proper care of hands and feet. There's a reason why clothing is called, for instance, beach shorts or yoga pants or gym wear. 
That's because certain clothing is only meant to be worn to certain places. So I had a potential client call me once who wanted help with his wardrobe. He wanted to overhaul his entire image because he felt that he was losing out on certain opportunities in his company. He was being passed over for promotions because his entire appearance did not project a look of leadership and professionalism. So he wanted help with that so that he would not fall back in his career and he could progress because he was a really talented person. The only thing is that people would not take him seriously because he didn't project that kind of an image to them. So that in a nutshell is the power of dressing well and dressing appropriately. Like I said, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So make sure you get it right the first time. So that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you found some value in it, please don't forget to press the like button below and also to subscribe to my channels. I'll be back soon with more videos that are helpful to you in life and at the workplace. I hope you'll come back and check out my other videos. I'll see you then. Bye.